The focus for the Global Media and Information Literacy Week is nurturing trust, a media and information literacy imperative. As part of activities for this year, there's a ministerial panel. The ministers have within their sight an issue they believe is capable of affecting the country, if not nipped in the bud. I must confess that the act and spread of this information in our polity gives me sleepless, sleepless nights. Hence, any discussion on how to curb it gladdens my heart. All like misinformation, which could be an act of omission, this information is a deliberate act, and I repeat, deliberate act to spread falsehood. That is what makes the work much, much difficult today. Firstly, my humble opinion, we need societal reorientation. Our societal reorientation should focus more on self-regulation. Let us know what we need to do online. And let us know that we are responsible. Whatever you release that is disinformation or fake news, don't look at only the personality you are tarnishing. Look at its effect on your country, your continent, and also globally. It's an opportunity for the Minister of Information to also weigh in on the recent security alert in the nation's capital, Abuja. Some media outlets and social media personalities are usually caught spreading unverified information on their platforms just for clickbait and the attendant monetary gain. Talking of clickbait, this may be what informed the spread of this supposed security alert issued recently by some foreign embassies in Nigeria. One would imagine that if indeed this kind of security alert was issued, it was for the attention of citizens of the Asian countries in Nigeria only. Suddenly, this same alert finds its way into the media, both new and traditional, thus creating panic in the polity. The key resolution of the panel is that the media must look at the wider implications of fake news on the society, the country and the world.